Let's speak uh, to Debbie Harris, who's from Autumna, uh, Independent Care Home Advisors, and we spoke to Debbie right at the start of the show. Hi, Debbie. Hello. Nice to speak to you again. Yeah, good to speak to you. What, what did you make of what you heard from Matt Hancock there? Absolutely fantastic if they carry it through. I actually had tears in my eyes listening to him. He, he The language has changed. And when he starts talking about a brand for the care profession. This is what we need. We need to all feel part of the same group. Yes, and uh, I mentioned a text we had into the programme from someone saying, look, they don't need a badge, they need PPE. So uh, while, <laughs> while, while you're getting uh, respect, which is what everyone who works in the uh, care sector absolutely deserves, and that's right, uh, um, what about any practical promises that he made during that conference? Well, he needs to back them up, of course. But, you know... He's he's laying the foundations, I think, for the industry as a whole. So, for example, um, no DNR as a blanket form to sign. Do not resuscitate, and, yeah. Yeah. End of life visits. We have been hearing from so many different providers. Some allow families in, some don't. To know that it's okay to allow a family in so long as you've got the correct PPE, I, I appreciate this foundation stuff needs to be in place. But to, to sort of explain to everybody, both families and the care providers, that that's okay, mm. I, I think it was great. He hit a lot of stuff for me. Our listeners are split into two schools of thought, really. One is that the government have been behind the curve on care homes all the time and have been, in a way, uh, in their words, neglecting them. And the other school of thought is that the government are reacting to an unprecedented situation uh, as best they can when they can. Where do you stand on, on that? Probably straight in the middle, to be honest with you. I think they have been behind the curve and there's no question it's unprecedented. I think it's really important, though, that people can feel proud to be in social care. People need to stand behind something and feel part of a, of a community, of a group, and I really hope this branding does it. Yeah. OK. Well, look, Debbie, thank you. Uh, thanks for talking to us. Debbie Harris there from Autumna. They're uh, an independent care home advisor.